inch up, pure point. Will get finished off, kill credit there now. In their pocket, but can they get the win is the question. They spot ZP, they take him out. That's New Happy in third. Indigo will fall, and Veronica... area about to be restricted yet again as we go into phase nine soul still gonna be on the outskirts gonna spot him i'm taking some shots decent ways to run but i mean there's so much space realistically here for donawa donawa to work with but here we go Ooh, then soul takes a huge hit there takes up bandages to find one that's gonna be being taken down to the ground about to find a few others. When they come around this corner, that fence like good smoke here for a new happy to kind of close up that gap between the fence because that is a really tough spot to cross and they know it. And this just shows you why they're here. You know, they're such a smart team, but good grenades here oh. from Mill. Ace left tearing them apart. Yeah, Ming right back down onto the ground. And now I'm gonna be joining him. Get the, get the elimination as well. Nate comes in. Oh, huge coming through there. So we'll get the knock on the HS. Ming eliminated by Myel. Just like that. Peril versus Donawa. 3v3. Circle getting ever smaller. Makes him, tries to go on the flank. Spot Soul. He'll hit the ground. Was that with the prone, but here comes the frag grenade. Looking for the finish. The cloak gonna be eliminated. Or knocked to the ground rather, but oh. odds of getting the res is so very low and so barely hangs on by a thread. 3 HP off the back of the frag. Yeah, now Soul is the the sole attention of Pero here. They are all focused on this spot. That grenade's gonna go too far there for him. He's not able to really buy himself enough time. This is great for Mill to be on top of this awning. It protects him a lot from these grenades. Blue's getting closer. It gets being used. Pero just keeping themselves topped up. So it's just not really being given that opportunity. And now he's gonna be knocked on Molly as well as the blue, finishing him off, and there you have it. Petricor Road. Managing to take the first match of the day first. Out of range of that one. Music coming in as the circle gets smaller and smaller. Where the smoke advance forward. Excel finds yet another one. Youngly gonna be knocked to the ground. There's almost no way to recover him now. He'll just go ahead and get the shots in. Gets that finish. Is GEX out of smokes? They must be at this point, because I'm not seeing any. Certainly seems like it. Now he's sitting on the roof. He's gotta come down from there. But as his head gets shown, Excel comes up with yet another one. <laughs> That is GEX out at fourth. Things starting to become more chaotic now. Burning here is Lambu. Rolls, rolls over to the corner. Tries to get some meds off to keep himself in the fight. Will manage to do so for now. Mael going to be eliminated. Corn finds one. Lambu finds Mamu. Coming down. X up. Dead. Mamu dead. Seems like Petrocore might just be out of this here in the final three. Yeah, Ming's now got to make a push through the blue. Tries to push for it, but they're right around the corner. Simply continuing to play indoors. Might just be able to make this happen. The turtle strategy coming to fruition. Americano pushes around the corner, manages to find one. He's looking for a little bit more. Sprays down, down to 13 HP, goes for the reload, and he will have it. Veronica time. I mean, this is just a wonderful piece of work by 17 to use these smokes to isolate Americano and really give themselves a good chance. Dave. Great grenade. Oh, Dava finds one and gets the other. Chabay taken out. Killing spree here for Mad Clan. Posted up inside very early on. And Circle has just been playing to them time and time again. Now they're out for blood. Did you still hear Americana just gonna be jetting around trying to get over towards the building? Mad pounding him down, going for the sprays. He crashes into the side of the warehouse. Still is alive though, but he's playing outside of the circle. They know that he has to come to them, so they'll just go ahead and let him be for now. Keep their focus on 17. Oh, bolt the dream for Americano. Suju trying to buy time. That Molly, Molly is good enough. Oh, the second one definitely oh, too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He is. Uh, he is burning down. Dips into the blue for just a second as well. We'll go out. Yeah, finding two. Americano now against the world. One v four to try to bring it back. Oh, look at what two tap did. Look at where he's positioned. I mean, even if Americano knocks all three of mad here on the outside. Took really good oh, sprays. So close, but he just can't quite get it done. Spots one plant, gets the headshot. See him take it to the ground. 
Maybe, however, should be able to get that res off. Flash just watching. They've got this crossfire set up, so there's just basically no way in hell for him to be able to make it out of here. Let's a couple smokes. Runs across the side, goes to the peak, spots him at the rock. Can't get the hit through, though. This is such a tough angle for him to land any shots on a lash through that tree. Yeah, this just feels like a very cruel game that Matter playing. Americana tries to stay alive. More smoke's gonna be chucked in. Nades flying, stuns abound. Turns away, throws one out. <laughs> <laughs> throws the pan. <laughs> they try to push him, they'll make it happen. He can't. The terrain for ZP on up this way. You may be wondering why he's not trying to do damage to V7. He just can't. Oh. He has to go up yeah, here. Yeah, you gotta wait it out. He's just gonna be slow creeping through. You know, let the smokes go. I mean, they're aware. Uh, there is still somebody up on that hill. They know there's one member left of New Happy, and they don't want to get caught off guard by him. Spray going through, just trying to get a hit through the smoke. Managed to make it happen. On the outer edge. Oh. Peon will find one. That's going to be Heaven knocked to the ground. Tosi finds Pure Boy. 2v1v1 right now for Veronica 7. Look at him come out on top of their second round. Heaven trying to creep forward, but there's just no way. She's just going to continue to inch up. Pure Boy will get finished off. Kill credit there now in their pocket. But can they get the win is the question. They spot ZP. They take him out. That's New Happy in third. Indigo will fall. And Veronica, of all people, <laughs> right? It's not Yodley. Fox Lock going to be knocked to the ground. That's close to you. Indeed. Ooh. Driving in, Americano with his FCs, gets that finishing kill. Or no, he doesn't actually get sniped away from it. Lucky coming up with another one. It's bouncing in. Americano just going to be dipping to the ground. Potosi has been taken out. He goes for the peak, finds one, but he will fall. And that is Veronica 7 eliminated at fifth place. Will not be finding the back to back. Will not be getting the three peat, at least not yet. Yeah, Lambo there just uh, helping out a little bit for DGW. Over towards GEX, and that's a Ooh. really good grenade to finish off Zen Nan by Monkey King. Right on the money. Well, well placed, no doubt about it. Now Lambo on top of DGW here. Smoke's still there, enough to keep DGW relatively safe. Well, no matter what, we're going to be having a different team winning here in this fifth round. He's still with five members left by me. We'll find one. Suddenly down to the ground, but then he gets knocked in a time. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I thought he almost shot his teammate there for a second. Well, GFY and GEX both going to be out of it. Two teams remaining. Three members strong, but Rez coming through. Five Vs back into the mix of things. Getting that Groza back is huge. I mean, that gun is so devastating in these late game situations. It's one of the favorites. Good opening shots from Gokuri. He's been pretty damn consistent so far in these long range exchanges, but quite get a knock before he makes his way into the shed. Smoke's coming out. Smoke King plays in the back. 6 x strapped on to the car 98. Phase 8 going to be commencing here. 12 seconds left to go. This one widely in favor of CTG, but, you know, a pick, you know, maybe you can find these two back members of CTG that are having to use smokes to keep themselves safe. Gokri is trying to use this little ridge line. Yeah, yeah. this is really smart. He sees them smoking up. He's going to try to go ahead, get on that little flank angle to catch them as they start to advance forward. So when you're in an odd man situation like this, when you're in a 4v3, what you can try to do, if your opponent's pretty well spread out like this, is just group up his three and just kind of, for lack of a better term, death ball it. Just try to hammer one of the flanks of the team you're going against and just see if you can break them. Oh, there's a Mark 14 too? What is this? <laughs> just everything you could ever want. You guys, you guys got your Nintendo 64s at Christmas. I got socks and underwear. <laughs> But those are essential. Uh, yes, know. okay, it, it, now it, as it, an it, adult, it, it, I appreciate it. <laughs> but as a kid, I was really angry. Yeah. I think we've uh, all experienced that. Ooh. I mean, take that shot. We get the elimination. Lucky's just sat here in the shed. It's gonna be a consistent threat here for members of that nation. That's such a great map so far. Lose it all here in the very end would be very much a heartbreaker here for the squad. Heartbreaker for Japan. Oh. Let's go 
three. Gonna line up the shot. Neither of them particularly connecting. He hit the hay bale on that last one. Yeah. King showing for just a moment. It's just barely missing. Lofo getting capped up. He has to drop to the ground, keep himself alive, but he's not going to be able to do it. Lucky finds that knock. Sprains are trying to get that finishing blow now. Bachao going to be knocked to the ground as well. Just one member left. It's all on Kokuri. He only hits for 21 out on the wide target. Looks for Lucky. Has to try to stabilize his aim just a little bit longer. Creep it forward, but they managed to find him. Get one of those shacks. That's nuts. Ugh. This is brutal now for Donawa. How many smokes are left is the real question. They're going to need a lot. They're going to need a lot. Because you got to throw some on top of those hills when you crest them. They tap. Well, it goes for just a brief moment there, but it's not enough to really displace them. Or you could just smoke their windows. That also works. Yeah. Either way, this is going to have to result in a down and dirty, up and close fight. Stay spread out to avoid you know, significant nade damage. This is a good opportunity for Soul to get to the fence. Pushing up. Yep. Get themselves to the wall. And, you know, 17th kind of retreating towards the center, leaving Suju out on that sniping flank position. Like, Chloe was there as an anchor, but it's Salute still out there too, I think. So, you know, Donna went Oh, okay. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine if he, he knocked, knocked himself. Him. Oh, God. And then the, and then it just it's over from there. That'd be kind of, that was just- Oh, 17 me. would just swarm. Yeah. Be oh! Great Nate, though. Jay lets one go. Chow Bank gonna be knocked. We'll see if they can try to recover him, but they're going to be throwing in even oh! more nades, and he is eliminated. Ten kills here now for Donawa. Can they make it happen? Can they actually display 17 gaming? They've been sat here for so very long. Show takes so much damage. Gets knocked low. They spot it for just a moment. Unable to follow up. Get that final bit of damage in. Goes popped up. I love how they're staying on opposite sides of the fence. Again, avoiding those big grenades that could knock two of them in a heartbeat. It's really, really smart. Good positioning here from Donawa so far, keeping each other covered, methodically pushing up. So she's trying to play on the outer side. Essentially come up with a flank. 4v3 with the blue, getting ready to close in now. It's about to get messy. We'll see how many more nades these guys have. Four smokes is all I can see there. Up on that high ground, shots coming in. Suju on this off angle, manages to find one, and Sol has been the the highest impact right now. Highest impact player for the side of Donawa. That's a great pick off, but they're moving forward. They're trying to get that res off. And they know it. Suju wants to get aggressive on it. Throw a few stuns. Yunjung just needs to buy time. And as long as he can do that, they should be able to get Soul up. Get the There's plenty of cover to get the heal, unless there's a frag or a molly floating around somewhere in the bags of 17. There is one here on show, but he's not in an angle to really use it. Oh, it pops out just a moment there, throws down the smoke. The inside of the circle, the center here. For the most part taken over by Donawa. 17 Gaming need to reclaim what was once theirs. Still some time. Uh, you know, this this phase nine does take quite a while yeah. to, to push in. So everybody's kind of found a safe spot and they're not really keen to push beyond it. Lil Ghost would love to stay on this this rooftop. They need to get rid of this position of Lil Ghost if Donawa is going to win this round. If he's up there, because he's really close to the center, so he can just kind of work it back and forth for a long time. Like one final molly being thrown out there on the side. Another one let loose. Finding any damage, but show himself into a nice spot, but Salute strikes back. He strikes first, knocks him to the ground. And suddenly this is looking very much like that was game. Corner Sutsu trying to find it, but Liko takes him down, puts him right in the head. It's the elimination, now it's on. Lil Ghost situated up top of the roof. Oh, he gets so damn close, but he cannot. Uh, I would say even Damwon Key. First was Toy Poro Source. Of course, they're going to be in that first place spot. And Donawa have caught up considerably, obviously behind it, you know, with a, with a win, but just two kills separating these two squads. And no one's running away with it. This is anybody who's, frankly, within 20 kills of this probably is a shot. Uh, I would say even Damwon Key is Sorry, as, as, as bad as that last round was, to be frank. 
that they still have a shot tomorrow. I mean, you need two wins and a bunch of kills, and 